Can a certain rectangular sheet of glass be positioned on a rectangular tabletop so it covers the entire tabletop and its edges are parallel to the edges of the tabletop? So all we want to know, can the glass cover? And even if it sticks over the edge a little bit, as long as the edges are parallel to the tabletop, that is a yes answer. If it doesn't cover the table entirely, then that is a no answer. So statement number one tells us the table is 36 by 60. Well, that's great, but this statement tells us nothing about the glass. The glass could be any size, any shape. We have no idea whatsoever. So this statement by itself is insufficient. Statement number two tells us the glass has an area of 2,400 square inches. Well, that's interesting, but now we have absolutely no idea the size of the table. It could be a tiny rinky-dink table. It could be a banquet hall table. We have absolutely no idea. So this statement by itself is insufficient. So now we combine the statements. Now we know that we're dealing with a 36 by 60 rectangle and we have an area of 2400. The trouble is with an area of 2400, there's lots of ways you can have an area of 2400. We could have 60 by 40. And so if we had 60 by 40, that would exactly cover the table, it would stick over a little bit on each side, the edges would be parallel to the table, and the answer to the question would be yes, because 40 times 60 is 2400. But also, 24 times 100 is 2400. And if you had a length of 100 and a thickness of 24, then you'd have this weird shaped piece of glass like this, this long skinny rectangle, and there'd be no way to position it so that it was totally covering the table. There'd be no way to position it without breaking it somehow or something like that. And so we have no idea whether it is in the area of the glass is in a configuration that would cover the table completely or would not cover the table completely. So even combining all the information, it's still insufficient and the answer is E.